actually. You think so? Yes. Would have been a no one. So, how important do you think turnips are in this matchup? Because I know they're super important against Mark. They're incredibly useful in every matchup. Okay. The big question is, how able are you to pull them? Yeah, Sheik's that's also, always the question. Sheik also um, don't actually throw them at her while she's recovering. I don't know if you've ever seen the European turnip recoveries. No. You hit the turnip as she. Then you do the first part of your up B into the other side and use it to send you towards the level. That's amazing. I've done it with the ice climbers and gotten a wall jump tech forward B, then I got aired again, and then I said this matchup is awful, and now I'm like, oh, no. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely definitely the worst case scenario for ice climbers. Yeah, but anyhow, um, turnips are great. Yep. Because they force you to deal with them. Sheik does have a good turnip catch. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure Sheik does um, have a lot of ways of dealing with them. Yeah. I mean, for starters, if you try and pull it just raw on the ground, Sheik can just needle you and interrupt the pull. That is true. That's a little annoying. Um, stuff like her back air, she's very good at just clinking with the turnip and then leaving the leg out. She doesn't really have problems dealing with the turnips, but you still kind of want to have them because they do offer some measure of space control. Yes. And you might get a stitch, and then almost every strategy we've talked about just now doesn't apply because stitches just wreck you. Yeah. I think, I think what it really comes down to is turnips are really great for preventing Sheik from doing something. So you throw the turnip in the place that you don't want Sheik to go, and then you worry about what else she can do. Yeah, the uh, I would just say that that's, that's a good strategy in the great matchup. Yeah, it doesn't work as much on Fox because he can go anywhere. He's a jerk. So this is looking pretty tight so far. Um, almost even in percents. Yeah, but if uh, John, our Peach, keeps on getting these openers, it's not going to be even very long. Yep. Because Shut it's like. One of the annoying things about this matchup is that it's really easy if Peach gets Sheik off the level to pretty much just keep sending her there. Whereas with Peach off the level, she tends to have to do a lot more legwork, god dang it, in order to <laughs> um, in order to keep getting her off the level and eventually KO her. Yeah. So generally, she does have the advantage in neutral, but I do feel like she has to do more to close stuff out. If yeah. she ever ends up off the level, she's a huge disadvantage. Peach definitely has a lot more vertical area to recover from. Yeah. You know, now that you say leg work, it reminds me that almost every good character in this game does well because of their legs. Fox and Falco do a lot of kicks. Sheik does a lot of kicks. Falcon works his knees. And is up air, which and is kicks. a spin kick. Yeah. And Marth runs a lot. Well, so. Marth's got a sword, so he's kind of immune to all that. He could kick his, with a sword. He could, like, put the sword in his shoes and kick it. Generate a lot of force. Maybe he's got a boot knife. Plus his dash dance. So his legs are important. Yes. I mean, as far as standing is concerned, almost everyone needs them. Except maybe Jigglypuff. She might be able to jump without them. Those aren't legs. I don't know what they are. They're not human. They don't have knees. They don't have toes. They don't have feet. They can grow larger when she forward smashes. Oh, oh your, back. your legs. You can't do that? No, but my fist gets really huge when I do the Mario dunk. You have the tumor fist. <laughs> you can't punch. Yeah, so, like you said, it, it looks like uh, John is just just running back and forth, yes. waiting for Dexy to land. Just that happens. Doing more stuff. Ooh, the snipe. Yeah. Shout out to the Muck. The purposeless snipe, but Muck. Oh. Muck's pretty cool. I don't know if you know, there's a thing in Wisconsin. It, Muck is like our mascot. There you go. Yeah, oh, really's wearing some glasses that just say Muck Life. Oh, a lot of people have them. I know the Smashboard's back room, just the social back room, yeah. used to have Grimers. Yeah. As it's, I still have a shirt here. It's got a little Grimer on the front. Once you evolve from a Grimer to the Muck Life, then you know you made it. <laughs> Gotta talk about the game. Dash tech. Ooh! Ooh. Didn't get his wow, out still time. alive, but used his float into that approach. Yeah, it's, it's always a risky thing with Peach. It's like, float gives you a lot of options to approach, but then if it doesn't go so well, oh well. 
You gave it your best. This little turnip was just so rude. I was trying to do something and it just kind of popped her on the head. Like, ow. Why? Why'd you do that? Please, no. Peach thinks it's sweet to just take the life of another human being. <laughs> Peach's, all Peach's victory screens are hilarious. I just love, did I win? I can't tell if she's just being like super sarcastic. Yeah, facetious and like trash talking hard, or if she's just dumb. She literally doesn't know the win condition of the game. Yeah. Oh no, this is not this is not the behavior of a dummy. This yeah. is the behavior of a ruthless killer. Yep, and that should be the first time. Oh no. Ooh. She's got like you've got to rush her down right now, but yeah. don't be stupid. Okay, good. Yep, that was really good. Put some pressure on, make uh, make John think that it's a good time to throw it, and then just get Actually, out of there. like during rolls is a great time to throw your stitch face. It's just that Sheik also has one of the farthest reaching rolls in the game, and she was already far away. And she's pretty small while she's doing it. Yeah. So. Trade's going to get him back on stage. Ooh. The power shield. Two, two, two. Oh. Yeah, see, and that's what I mean. She's in a recovery position. She has to cover like 80 different potential places to go and then still time it right. Right. With Sheik, you just stand up and then you hit her where she goes. If she goes straight up for that one kind of edge guard mix up, then you can actually just float off and take the edge instantly. Yeah. So there's. Sheik off the level is in horrible, horrible trouble against everybody. Peach is no exception. Peach off the level is really hard for a lot of characters to actually hit. Yep. And uh, Sheik is no Ganondorf in terms of killing early. Yeah, you've got to get tip her up smash. That's your early kill. Otherwise, you're relying on trying to slap her out of jumps and things like that. Yeah, or an up throw up air on a platform. Down throw up air? Down throw up air. You're exactly right. right. Just making sure we're talking about the same matchup. I'm back to Fox. Okay, we actually got a drop one, but then she's still in a bad position. Yep. And air dodge mix up. I don't even think he was trying to cover the air dodge, but it's good up ended up covering the edge anyway. He probably reacted. Probably saw it, just thought, oh, I got this. <sighs> because with good timing, if you stand up against Sheik, you will either block her descending to the edge, even with with her up B or with an edge guard or with an air dodge. Yeah. Or you stand up and hit her if she happens to go on the level. Yep. So a lot of people try that. It doesn't always work, but they try it. And it's great because uh, Sheik's up B has enough landing leg. Ooh, caught with that. Oh, I thought he didn't have a jump. He definitely still did, though. But Sheik's got enough landing leg that if you do that neutral get up, you have time to punish her before she can act out of it. Which I'm sure Sheik may take. Sheik may take her. All of these steps to being a princess today. Rule high rule with this one weird trick. Rule high rule. one weird trick for great legs. No. No, like great it's legs. It's got to be like old and weird. There's always like two or three adjectives. Oh, they both whip each other. I have no idea how that happens. So yeah, right now John's kind of trying to do the right thing. Where he sort of approaches, does a careful, measured, double, like short hop, uses the aerial drift to try and maximize the spacing, pressure. Because right now, getting a tilt is going to be more or less meaningless. So he's really looking for bear, nair, up at, like any aerial pretty much. Yep. Except down air. Down smash. Yeah. Good down smash. We'll take a down smash. If he can actually connect with the jab, that'll be great because jab fair is a thing. Ooh. Um, downside, crutch cancel, smash DI, and also just not reacting. Gonna kill that plan. Yep. Right, or get getting shield track. Oh, and he's not having these hits. John's willing to throw out tons of moves. He's willing to trade right now. Oh, yeah. Peach definitely wants to trade in this scenario. No, you have to die <laughs> and lose. Eventually. Okay. Right. Goodbye, Peach. So, I think at that percent, John will take the trade. Uh, Dexy doesn't have too much of a mountain to climb, but uh, definitely needs to be stepping up a little bit more than what he's been doing so far. Yep. Oh, that was actually, that was a weird noise. Just kept on hitting the different needles as they fell in. All right, and that should be game two. Pretty much, not gonna make it. We're done. 
Good work, John. Way to go, John. Way to be a guy.